Hello. This is a quick update on the progress of the changes I'm making on the wooden model. And as you can see, I have the transfer track working. And what I've done is I've wired it back to the control box and I've added a store uh, run toggle switch. So all I have to do is uh, flip it once. The limit switches turns off the motor. I can adjust the height of the limit switches because they're attached to this parallel bar underneath my stop. And this raises and lowers, which raises and lowers these little toggle switches. So I have them set where I want them. And today I was adding some wood and to make the walk boards like the maintenance people would use to come off the main walkway and across. I'm going to continue on and build a wooden structure under the storage track, but that'll stay with the table. So the storage track will be able to come up out of that, leaving the wooden cross beams below. But when I return it, it'll look like it's all part of the same model. I need to thank Phil, uh, Phil Kaiser, for giving me the idea of building this track walk board to hide that motor and add a little bit of bushes or shrubs. Um, that still gives me access to work on the motor, but hides it since it's all out of scale and everything. Let me show you some of the changes I've made on the controller box. I've added a power light here. So that tells me if main power is on, even if I have everything else off. I've added speed controls. Each knob controls a motor on the table. This is the brake run. This one is the lift motor. This is the motor that dispatches. This is the motor uh, that swaps the track. I've also added a power light to the lift. Now, obviously, the lift, I could tell, is running by... I could, I could see that the chain is moving. But let's say it jammed up. This will tell me it's supposed to be running if it's not. And then I've added a light to let me know if I'm on auto mode. On manual, I'm going to turn the lift off for now. On manual mode, I could push the button and dispatch the train. On auto, it'll dispatch when I first turn it to auto, and then about every 45 seconds, it'll dispatch again. But another change I made is you can manually override at any point by pushing the button. I have also started landscaping all over the thing. Uh, let me show you. I have added some new trees. I just taught myself how to make these trees this weekend. I've added that tree and, and this tree here. I've also added vines that are starting to move up the structure. And I may add more vines as I move along. Plus I've been 3D printing uh, tombstones and a mausoleum, uh, a couple of crypts. Maybe that's a crypt, I don't know. Maybe that's a tomb. And just generally making this kind of a Halloween graveyard type thing. I know that this is going to change several times before I'm happy with it. I need to thank my friend Justin for doing all the weathering and painting and smoothing out. Uh, for example, this angel was this tan color when I printed it, and this is this is what he was able to do in, I don't know, just a couple minutes. Some cool stuff. So, turn on the lift. Thanks for watching.